stop what you're doing. If you're using these three sieves, you need to change that today. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms gameplay episode from your very own Shappy Gaming. Today, we are going to be talking about three of the worst civilizations that you should not be using in Rise of Kingdoms. And of course, we're not talking about France. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner. And if I haven't earned it yet, then be sure to stick around because this video is going to be a fun one. So you may have just started playing Rise of Kingdoms and you may be wondering, which sieve should I use? I've got a whole nother video on that on the top right side of your screen. If you chose to ignore that, there are three sieves that you should absolutely not be using in Rise of Kingdoms. And I'm going to be talking through all three of them and explaining my reasons as to why. That said, if you completely disagree with everything I say, that's all good. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below and let's have a chat about it. So the first sieve that you should not be using on your main account whatsoever is going to be Japan. And there are a couple reasons for this. When you're first starting the game, the commander that you would be given as starting with Japan would be Kusunoki. Kusunoki is not terribly valuable long term, and even if you're looking at your epic commanders when you first start the game, he's not going to be the best archer commander that you can get. This also doesn't work out terribly well because you've got Kusunoki, who's an archer primary, and then Japan, their special unit is actually going to be infantry. So this is not terribly practical. Now, let's get into some of the other reasons why this civilization is kind of garbage. So, increases troop attack by 3%. This spans all of your unit types, which in theory would be great, except we know that the troop attack buff is probably the worst buff that you can get for any of the commanders in the game. And I will be making a separate video on why attack sucks, but it really is not as good as defense or uh, health for the majority of your unit types. And the samurai unit especially is not terribly strong, namely because it has high attack and low just about everything else. The next skill that you see is Scout March Speed of 30%. That is almost completely useless. The only time when you're really going to be using that is actually if you're just trying to clear fog, which realistically, you don't need a 30% buff to do it. It's not going to help you whatsoever. And if you're looking for an infantry sieve, this is not the one for you. If you're using Japan, just don't. And last but not least, the only buff that really makes Japan remotely viable is the resource gathering speed buff of 5%. And I do actually use Japan on all of my farms specifically for this because that spans all resource types and is fairly good for a farm. If you're using it for a main account, you're making a mistake. If you're using Japan, I'm very sorry. Let me know in the comments section below. Please explain yourself because you probably don't need to be. The next sieve that we're going to be talking about is Britain. And the starting commander that you get with Britain is going to be Boudicca. And I actually believe I started with Britain when I very first started my account in Rise of Kingdoms. The reason I did it is because I thought that it looked cool. Having now gone back and looked through all of the sieves, this is probably one of the worst sieves to start with in Rise of Kingdoms. And again, we have the same issue as before. You start with Boudicca, who is primarily an integration and peacekeeping commander. So she's not going to be terribly viable in the field, especially not early on. There are much better choices for epic commanders. And then you have the special unit of the Longbowman. And Boudicca, again, has no benefits for archers whatsoever. Now, before you get all up in arms and say, the chappy, that's kind of the case across the board, there are some sibs that give you commanders that actually work with the buffs that you have. Now, Again, we have Archer Attack of 5%. Archer Attack of 5% is probably one of the worst buffs you can get for archers, especially since there are so many other great archer sieves in the game. And the attack buff is really not terribly useful, especially when you compare it to defense and health. The next thing you have is Troop Training Speed of 5%, which is by far the best benefit that you get out of choosing Britain altogether. However, if you do want that Troop Training Speed buff of 5%, you're really better off going with Germany because it has other buffs that really equal it out. And that third one is ally garrison capacity of 20%. This skill is quite possibly the most useless buff 
in all of Rise of Kingdoms? Let me know in the comment section, but that's that's my personal opinion. It is almost completely useless. You rarely are using your ally garrison capacity. If anything, I'd prefer rally capacity, but it doesn't give you that. It's essentially useless. The longbow unit, fine. There are others that are worse, but realistically, Britain is a sieve you should not be using. Again, if you're using it, let me know in the comment section below. Please explain yourself. I need to understand. Last but not least, the sieve that you should not be using, and this may be a hot take, is Spain. Now, Spain, I will give them credit. If you pick Spain, your starting commander is Pelagius. Pelagius is a cavalry commander, and Spain gives you cavalry defense. Wow, that's awesome. But the other buffs are truly not worth it, especially when we take a look at some of the benefits of playing cavalry. It just doesn't make sense. Now, Pelagius is fine as a starting commander. You can use Pelagius Baybars and do tons of damage. You can also use um, Baybars Belisarius, which is a lot more practical, but we'll get into that in other videos. But the Spain Cavalry Defense buff of 5% is fine. That said, there are other sieves that I'm more inclined to use other than Spain. So that 5% defense buff works well with Pelagius, but it's not the best. The next is experience gained from barbarians and other neutral units of 10%. Again, this is quite possibly one of the most useless buffs in the game. Not, not as bad as garrison capacity, but this just does not add terribly much value, especially if we're talking about late game and you already have the majority of your commanders max. I will say the one thing that I seem to never have problems getting are experience tomes. So realistically, I don't think that you need this. That buff is not going to be useful. And for my favorite part of Spain, the last buff of resource production by 20%. So you heard me say earlier that the Britain buff of the garrison capacity is one of the most useless buffs in the game. Well, my friends, welcome to resource production buff of 20%. This is, if not the first worst, uh, it is by far the second worst buff that you can get in Rise of Kingdoms. It is completely impractical. The city production that you get is essentially useless. When we talk about like city production and resource production, you're much better off just going and gathering rather than, <laughs> rather than going through the trouble of picking a sieve for this. So you may be a little concerned. Chappie, you just said my sieve sucks, which, Sorry, it might. Let's talk about some sieves that are going to be a little bit more useful. So if you're cavalry, you may want to take a look at Germany. You've got the cavalry attack buff, which yes, attack is not great. And Herman doesn't make a lot of sense for cavalry. But if you do want to use cabs, you just have to get Belisarius or Baybars and run that. But long term, the cavalry attack buff of 5% is all right. But the real value here is the troop training speed buff of 5% and the attack and the action point recovery buff of 10%. These are huge and they are useful into the late game. Not only that, but the Teutonic Knight, I believe has extraordinarily high defense, which is really nice on the Cavalry March. You typically do want a stronger, tankier uh, Cavalry March. If you have attack and only attack, it really doesn't work out all that well for you. Alternatively, if you do want to use uh, Cavalry and you don't want to use Germany, you can always use Byzantium. Uh, you get Cavalry health of 5%, which is by far the best uh, health buff that you can get. Then you have stone gathering speed of 10%, which is nice because you use a lot of stone when you're running cavalry. And then hospital capacity of 15% is incredibly useful. I cannot overstate it enough. If you get full hospital, you'll get dead troops, which really isn't all that great. Next, let's talk about archers. If you are going to be an archer player in Rise of Kingdoms, you really want to look at the Ottoman Empire. You've got archer health, which is by far the best buff for archers, troop march speed of 5%, which applies to all of your marches, and then you have active skill damage of 5%, which also applies to all of your marches. This is probably my favorite civilization for archers. I really would not recommend going with anything else. If you need a fallback or you're like, I don't really like the way the Ottoman Civ looks, fine. There is Egypt, which is also an archer civilization, and you get archer attack and rallied army damage which is fine, and you get Imatep, which is a phenomenal starting epic commander. So there's your archer fallback. Now let's talk infantry. Uh, a lot of the infantry civilizations are really good. You've got Rome and you've got France. Those are probably the two that I would recommend. 
Hopefully this has helped you out. If I totally just ripped on the sieve you're using, I apologize in advance, but you might want to think about changing. Hopefully this helps you out. If you haven't already, do be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there, bottom right hand corner. Leave a like on the video. Thank you. Shappy out.